Uh, very funny individual. You might have seen him on MTV. Please make some noise for the one and only Jamie Roberts. <laughs> Jamie. I don't know if I should be shaking your hand after that selfie shit right there. How y'all feeling? Y'all good? This is a good crowd. Just a good crowd. Just trying to make sure my ex-wife's not up in this motherfucker. Just trying to make... <laughs> Taking a fucking head count right now. It's cool. Going through a divorce right now. That's why. It's serious. Anyone here been divorced before? Anyone round of applause you've been divorced? All right, just me and you, brother. You... Just me and you, motherfucker. This is... You didn't even know that shit, right? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you had no idea. It was tonight he was getting divorced. You had no idea. <laughs> Going through a divorce right now. She wants half of fucking everything, too. Like Comedy Central, MTV. Like, she might come up here and finish half this fucking routine. You understand know what I mean? <laughs> That's how real that shit is. <laughs> she moved out. She took everything. She took, fuck, the curtains. The silverware. She was on some Dame Dash shit. She took both the spatulas. We had two fucking spatulas. <laughs> You know how hard it is to flip pancakes with a fucking spork? That shit is impossible. That shit is impossible. <laughs> oh, that shit is impossible. I'm dating though, man. I'm dating an older woman, which is like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? This is, this is a difference between dating younger women and older women. Like, y'all young chicks, y'all got a vagina. And older woman, she has an agenda. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you could date a young chick for like some Beyonce tickets. You're like, oh, Beyonce, you love me? Yeah! Let's make this shit happen. Instagram, that bullshit. You date an older woman, should have gone, I'm gonna just go over here Thursday and help me take this AC out the window. Like, what? <laughs> you got chores for me? <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to you to win and help me rake these fucking leaves. Like, what? <laughs> what kind of bullshit is this? I'm ready to go half for that maintenance. Hell yeah. The older woman got co ops. That's the maintenance right there. You figure it out when you get older. It's cool though, man. It's two different worlds, though, dude. dating a younger chick and an older woman, man. A younger chick, she'll send you a text in the middle of the night, yo, bring over a bottle of wine and some condoms. We fucking, yeah, let's get this shit in. Like, all right, let's get this shit popping. The older woman send you a text, like, I'm gonna need you to stop by CVS. Pick up this prescription for me. <laughs> and a box of Metamucil. Like, Metamucil? You ain't never seen Metamucil come across your fucking screen before. Metamucil? I didn't even know you was regular. What the fuck's going on? I had no idea you wasn't regular. <laughs> it's the truth, man. <laughs> she got an Audi belly button too. You ever seen that shit before? You ever see a woman out? Ladies, if you got an Audi belly button, let a nigga know that right now, all right? <laughs> Put that shit as your tender profile picture. I don't know, tag me on Instagram. Let us know that shit right now. We're gonna find out when it's too late, right, fellas? It's all dark and shit. You're kissing on a clavicle and you're making your way down. Like, what the fuck is this? Baby elephant tusk, you don't want to find that shit out when it's too late. It's a baggy ass belly button. Tuck that shit in. That shit is disgusting. Wrap it around your waist or something. I don't know. That shit is disgusting. Over and over, Obamacare covers that shit. That shit is nasty. Come over here with a hernia? What the fuck is that? I can lay a towel down. What the fuck is supposed to do with a hernia? This shit is nasty. You fucking who's fucking who with this shit? That's what I want to know. Who the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of bullshit is this? Freaky shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> too much, too much for y'all, sorry. We met at the old people club, too. We met at the Shadow Night Club. I don't know if y'all know about the Shadow Night Club. You gotta be 88 years old to get in the Shadow Night Club, all right? <laughs> you come with your ID, 85, they're like, listen, little boy, go home. You 85 years old. <laughs> Everybody in the Shadow Night Club got on three-piece suit, right? They dress like Steve Harvey. They got a cover bun and tails. Like, you got tails on that suit? <laughs> Every Saturday's Easter Sunday in this motherfucker. What the fuck is going on up in here? Every Saturday's Easter Sunday. There's some crazy ass shit at the Shadow Nut Club. You're like, uh, can I get a Ciroc, a Ciroc and prune juice to the DJ booth, please? Can I get a Ciroc? <laughs> like, Miss Pearl, you're accessorized outside. Miss Pearl, you're accessorized. <laughs> if y'all don't know what accessorized is, that's the old people Uber right there. That's. That's old people Uber. They use that shit for everything. <laughs> shit be lined up outside. <laughs> a line of fucking accessorized outside. <laughs> At the shadow night. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I should be talking shit about my old lady like this. It's cool. <laughs> we cool, man. We, we trying to make it work. We trying to, <laughs> we trying to make this shit work. 
talk a lot about sex because I'm a man, you know what I mean? And as men, we are always fucking horny. It doesn't make a difference where we are. We are always thinking about sex. We could be at a funeral, right, fellas? We are thinking about sex. Like, it's a damn shame how Jerome got shot. I'm like, yeah, but did you see his sister's titties? <laughs> Up by the casket? Oh my God! The way they were bouncing when she was sobbing. Did you see her tip? I'm sorry, it's too soon. Too soon. I'm sorry. Shit, that, that's what we're talking about in the back of the funeral home. Like, yo, you see the way she's wearing that dress? <laughs> see, she needs some comfort. Fuck this bullshit. <laughs> we dirt bags. We fucking dirt bags. That's what we did. He said yes. <laughs> they co-signed the dirt bag. That's cool. That's cool, man. I watch a lot of porn. Anybody else in here watch porn? No, no. All right, just four people. You lying, motherfuckers. It's a billion dollar business. Only four of us watching this shit? Some of you motherfuckers got it on your phone right now. You need to stop lying to me, right? You won't let your mom use your phone. Like, nah, mom, give me the phone. I'll dial the number for you. Give me the phone. Don't be going through my pictures. Don't be doing that shit. Don't be. <laughs> you gotta be careful with your shit, though, though. That's why I delete the history on my laptop before I leave the crib every day. Cause if you get killed in the streets, that's the first thing they're going to do is go to your laptop. Like, what was he doing before he left his house? <laughs> it's the first thing they do. Look at your fucking computer. I don't want them to find out I was jerking off the midget porn. You understand what I mean? That's specific. You got to Google midget porn. You know what I mean? That's not a category. <laughs> it's not a category on Pornhub. You understand what I mean? <laughs> See, the people who laugh about Pornhub are the ones who actually watch porn. Now, you told it on your fucking self. All right, it's cool. It's another reason why I won't name my daughter Ebony. You get what I'm saying right there? Because that's a category on Pornhub, motherfucker. I can't do it. Can't have her losing as soon as she come out the vagina. Fuck that. <laughs> Give her a Keisha or a Tanya or some shit. Not Ebony. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Apologize to the Ebony's in the crowd. I'm sorry. Y'all had no idea. Holler at me after the end of the show, though. We're going to be good. Be good. Got a, I got a little boy, too, man. He scared the hell out of me, though. Came in the room. like, Dad, Dad, I want to ask Puss in Boots. I was like, wait a minute. You sound like you need a Saturday's collection to me. That's what it sounds like. I don't know about y'all, but Puss in Boots sounds like a porno where the girl keeps on her Uggs the entire DVD. Like, are you serious? This shit is in 3D too? Holy shit. I grew up on real fucking cartoons like Popeye. Remember Popeye? Popeye was the first dude to smoke weed on TV and get away with it, right? You putting weed? You putting spinach in the pipe? Motherfucker, get out of here. Expect me to leave you chewing this shit? Get the fuck out of here. He had the giggles and everything. Act, 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 act. Like this nigga's getting high right in front of us. Right in front of us. All right, that's my time. I'm Jamie Roberts, everybody. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it up for Jamie Roberts.